Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. Um, please be your own leader of discernment while watching these general readings. All right. Okay. Ugh. All right. So, yesterday when I was getting a massage, I channeled another song. Okay. This is by Stevie Wonder. All right. And the song is called, I Just Called to Say I Love You. So the part that I kept hearing was, I just called to say I love you. Okay. So there's someone here that might, um, Bosh, someone might, someone might call to tell you that they love you. Okay. I don't know if this is genuine or not. But this is what someone is planning on doing, or this is what they're thinking about doing right now in this current energy, all right? Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, yeah, this person wants to come in and say, uh, they just called to say how much they care about you, all right? Um, in the beginning of the song, it goes, no New Year's Day to celebrate, no chocolate-covered candy hearts to give away, no first of spring, no song to sing. In fact, here's just another ordinary day. No April rain, no flowers bloom, no wedding Saturday within the month of June. What, but what it is, is something true made up of all the, all these three words that I must say to you, which is, I just called to say, I love you. Okay, so this, I feel like this could be someone that you haven't been talking to for like, uh, since last year is what I'm getting whoever I'm speaking to you did not spend New Year's Day with this person until now okay yeah this person's missing someone or you're missing this person place it where it needs to go okay also you guys could be seeing 909 or 999 or 919 a lot 414 as well 111 333 then if you are this message is for you um, let's see, 909, when it comes to love, it does talk about how, um, it's a sign that your twin flame is closer than, than you think, okay, for a lot of you, um, 909 is a positive sign about potential growth, development, new beginnings in romantic, uh, situations and relationships, all right, it does speak about soulmates for some of you, okay, But it also speaks about a beginning of a spiritual journey. So you could be dealing with someone who's just waking up or, or is waking up or realizing they are having a spiritual awakening. Something like that is significant, okay? Also, something lucky is happening for you. You're about to get some sort of lucky break or a, a something here, okay? Uh, someone's last name could be Jones, okay? You, uh, also, you guys could be seeing 9-11 a lot. Um, someone could be lovesick is what I'm getting or someone someone's coughing a lot um I'm also getting though you know going back to Stevie Wonder somebody here could be acting like they don't know what they did to you in order for the relationship to be over or maybe this is how this person was acting in the past um and I also feel like this person could be wondering why you pulled away um or why or wondering why you're not chasing after them or why you're not talking to them or this person could be wondering what you're doing, okay? So this person could, like, be thinking about you a lot. There's something um, distinctive about this person's teeth or their eyes, okay? This person could have a hazel eyes or blue eyes or something about their eyes in general, okay? There's a physical trait that is significant to this person. Um, Let me see what else. Also, I feel like there's someone here who's trying to figure out your address. <laughs> you guys could be experiencing um, fake text messages about deliveries coming to your phone. Also, um, something about sweet six is significant for some of you, not all y'all.
Okay, I don't, <laughs> I don't wanna. Let's keep going. Ooh, we got trust your intuition. So you're being called to trust your intuition when it comes to this situation. Okay. Um, this could be involving a Gemini for some of you. Or you are a Gemini. Okay. You're being guided to trust your intuition when it comes to this person coming in to tell you that they love you, that they care. Okay. And that they miss you. Ciao. Thank you. I could be talking to a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one. I could be talking to an Aries. You could have Aries somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one. Tell me more spirit. What else do they need to hurt? Ooh, I could be talking to a Virgo. You could have Virgo somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one. Okay. Tell me more spirit. Tell me more spirit. Okay, I could be talking to a Pisces. You could have Pisces somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one. Okay. Yeah, you're really being asked to trust your intuition, like, on the real. Um, I could be talking to an Aquarius. You could have an Aquarius somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one. Yeah, so, someone is, um, you could be discovering something new about this person. We have Libra. I could be talking to a Libra. You could have Libra somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one. Yeah, this, this is someone here that, um wants to balance things out with you okay oh, this is almost like the last read this could be a continuation of the last read i could be talking to a taurus you could have taurus somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one or the reason why someone wants to come in and work with you it has to do with finances okay or it's more practical to work something out with you instead of doing something else you need to pay attention to your intuition i could be talking to a cancer you could have cancer somewhere on your chart or you're dealing with one Your intuition, the reason you're being asked and guided to trust your intuition at this time regarding this situation is because um, it's going to protect you from something here. All right. This is this is someone you have history with. All right. Can you tell me more, Sparrit? Someone here is now um, finding a new... Someone has a new way of looking at something when it comes to your guys' relationship or situation. Or you. Okay? Or you are being guided to find a new way to look at the situation. Okay? Or the person in question. Tell me more. Or the person that you have on your mind. Whoever this person is. Tell me more, spirit. What do they need to hurt? Okay. In so there is something about a new and loving relationship here someone wants to come in and express how they feel okay someone's deciding to come in and be authentic i'm also getting there's someone here that could be watching you do something um maybe in the past this person didn't respect what you did i feel like this has to do with spirituality but i feel like now um like this could have been someone who didn't believe in spirituality or thought uh, negatively of it but now maybe someone here is starting to respect it because they're looking at something in a new way tell me more spirit okay Yeah, it's because they, they see you achieving something when it comes, like you're achieving your goals, your dreams. You're making improvements in your life. And this person knows it's because you're on this spiritual journey or you, you partake in some sort of spiritual healing modality um, or it's because of the mindset, this new abundant mindset that you have adopted. Someone now sees like, um, the effects of it okay I'm also getting like you're gonna be getting a lucky break that's what it says a lucky break okay this could have been this could be someone who smokes a lot or you smoke place where it needs to go or this is someone you used to smoke with all right or this is someone that used to want to have like somebody wanted to smoke they wanted to smoke with you but maybe now they don't want it. They don't want the smoke. They want to clear things up with you. They want to find some sort of resolution. 
Dang, there's a lot of beautifulness coming out. You're going to achieve some sort of big accomplishment here. Okay, it's going to bring you a lot of joy. Wow, you have learned a lot. Okay, you have grown a lot. You have matured a lot. You Listen, if you ain't happy now, you're going to be. Okay, and whoever I'm speaking to, you you should feel proud of yourself for for what you have accomplished here all right for being true to you for going down the road less traveled for doing the healing work which is not fucking easy it is not easy it's not but you did it okay let's see him yeah, um, mm. I don't know. I could be talking to someone who's autistic. Don't have to be. Place it where it needs to go. Um, that's just a side note. Don't have to be, though. But what I'm getting here is, like, um, there was some sort of missing piece, pieces to the puzzle um, when it came to you and somebody here could have, um, asked someone else who had more knowledge about what the missing pieces were when it came to how they feel about you, or I don't know, or maybe someone thought you were hiding something. Someone, someone found the missing piece. I'm also getting like, this person feels like you're the missing piece. Like you have the missing piece to their heart. Or you're someone here who's going to solve some sort of issue for them. Oh, okay. Yeah, somebody wants to work through the difficulties with you. Maybe in the past someone here wasn't patient. Yeah, it says transforming something ordinary into beauty. Tools to create and manifest. So someone here might um, want to, you know, take a note or two from you, okay, is what I'm getting. Whoever this person that was boohooing, um, whatever spiritual thing that you, uh, spiritual um, ideology that you follow or whatever it is. Or whatever you do. It doesn't have to be spiritual. This could be something that, um, this even could be like you went to school for something. And someone could have been, like, telling you, like, pooping on your dreams. Like, being like, oh, you're never going to graduate. You're never going to be successful, da-da-da. You're never going to pass the bar test or whatever this is. And you ended up passing, and now this person wants to hire you as their lawyer or something. Or they want to go to law school now. That's for some of you. That's, that's, just a, that's actually just a small example. I don't even, let me shut up. Let me keep going. Someone here needs your help. They want to get like you, is what I'm getting. You guys could be dealing with someone who, um, maybe this is someone who is used to, like, achieving success or manifesting when it, uh, like, through doing street stuff. Because we have a spray can here. I'm also getting, like, somebody here can't, it's hard for them to wrap their mind around, like, like, how how much you've grown is also what I'm getting because they keep thinking about you as like, like they keep thinking of you as the old you or something like that. That's for some of you, not all y'all. What else do we need to know, spirit? What else do we need to know regarding this message? Thank you. Yo, I don't really like this. Child, listen, don't trust this motherfucker. I'm going to tell you this right now. There's someone here that's only doing this so they could have some sort of power or control over you or um, have the upper hand. So if you don't be teaching people the tricks of the trade is what I'm getting from this. Don't be telling people your secret sauce to the recipe. Someone need to hear this because this person is competing with you. This is a secret competitor. This could be family, lover, business, friend, um, co-worker, uh, 
whatever. Something like that is going on. I'm also getting like, uh, this person might be real pushy. Because they want someone to have success. But this person needs to make their way to their north node. I'm also getting whoever I'm speaking to, you are in your north node. You're, you've already, you're in your destined path. You're on your destined path. Okay. You, you got there by following your heart. Yeah, and this is why you're getting blessed or you're getting some sort of um, rewards, accolades, whatever this is, okay? We got the second house. Your your resources could be improving. I'm also getting this person might come in and ask you for money for some of you. I also feel like this is a sneaky snake. Like, this is someone that wants to come in to figure out how you do something in order to, like, um, dismantle something from within is what I'm getting. Or find out what you truly value. Like what's dear to your heart so that they can... This is I, this is for some of you, not all y'all. This is someone that wants to come in and act like they want to support you. They want to act like they want to support you. They want to be associated to you. They want to be your friend. Or they want to be um, back in your circle. Someone wants to come in and invest with you. Spend time. This person might even want to come in and be like, oh, I want to seek oneness with you. I don't know. I also feel like you could be someone who really likes to give to others, right? You could be someone who's very kind. You could have a very big heart. Um, someone's using that against you. We have keep your involvement hidden right here. So I feel like there's something sneaky going on with this person. They could be coming in, talking a good game, being like, oh, I want to help people. I want to do this. I want to do that. Can you teach me how to do this? But this person, is they're, they're involved in something weird. So they might use something for evil or the something. Something like that is going on. So just be aware. Okay, you need to know that you are an earth angel. Something about the month of July is very significant. Let me just show you. You are an earth angel. Someone here could be a smoker that's smoker twice. This could be you or them or both. Something about the month of July is significant. So you could be a Cancer or a Leo child. This person could really need some sort of help here. All right. Um, but whoever this person is, the, the, you were in a karmic cycle with them. Okay. And somebody left you because they thought that you were a gold digger or this person is a gold digger who's coming back to you, okay? And they could have a, a, a demon on them. A demon. So just be aware of this. We have what's bad is good and what's good is bad. So somebody in the past could have been saying that what you do is bad and da-da-da-da-da. And now they're starting to look at what you do is something that is good. Or that's what they're going to come in and say. So just be mindful. Um, I don't want to say like be mindful of the people that you help. But just like. No yeah. Be mindful. Can you tell me more? Yeah someone's a fucking snake. We got a snake here. It says beware of hidden snakes that pretend to be harmless secret enemy this person wants to come in as a secret enemy but they really are a rival okay this this person could be a old friend of yours right this person's really hoping that you're not gonna <laughs> see them as a snake as well i also feel like this could have been an ex of yours that kept you waiting okay or was expecting you to wait for them but unbeknownst to them you didn't okay so this person wants to come in with some sort of weird tactic. This person's life is very stagnant as well. This is why they want to come in and ask you for help. They feel like you got the, the secret sauce, the missing puzzle piece. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, this person is going to come in and be vulnerable. Okay. This person is very worried.
I'm also getting like this person knows that they have to be vulnerable in order to grow or something. Someone knows that they need to face their fears. Okay. Or s something. Someone here is going to get exposed in some way. This snake is that came out again. Someone here could be born in 1977 or 1978. Or you could be seeing these numbers a lot. You could be someone who is a shaman for some of y'all. You could have um, Native uh, Native American descent. You could be of Native American descent. First First Nations. You could be hearing a lot of songs that remind you of this person. Damn. Like you could be getting a lot of like, oh, I miss you <laughs> songs. <laughs> missing you, missing you. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. I need somebody and always. This sick, strange darkness comes creeping on so haunting every time. Okay, so this, listen, someone's going through, someone's going through some sort of depression, some sort of dark stage going on. Um, this is also someone who can't, they don't know how to be alone. Like, they don't know how to enjoy their own company. They don't know how to, like... Like, th this is someone who always needs someone around them, is what I'm getting. Be careful. I'm also, be car I'm also getting, be careful what type of vulnerable information you give to this person. Because they might try to use it against you, okay? This person wants to come in close to try to find information um, to expose you for. Whatever. Tell me more, spirit. What, what these people don't understand, or this is what people need to understand. If someone wants to come in and expose someone to embarrass them or whatever, um, it will only be embarrassing if the person that they're trying to embarrass thinks it's embarrassing. Like, embarrassment only works if that person gets embarrassed. But if you don't find whatever this thing is embarrassing... Like, it's not gonna, it's not gonna have an effect. It's not gonna have an effect that they want, is what I'm getting here. Okay. We have ancestors. It says, this could be your fucking family. So this could be a family member of yours who's going through karma that's a snake that wants to come in and ask for your fucking help. I'm over it. I'm so mad right now. This could have been, um, you could have been rejected from your family. You could be a black sheep, okay? You could have been an escape goat in the dynamic of your family. So always being blamed for things, um, always being put down, being belittled, okay? You could be someone who's very creative, okay? You could have a very creative mind. Um, they've always known that. They've always been jealous of that as well. But they would always make you feel like you're weird. Okay. Um, While well, they're basic. <laughs> I need to stop. I need to calm down. Um, we have a let them. It says let them turn their back on you. They aren't meant to be in your life. So these are people who have turned your back on you. They turned their back on you. They didn't support you in the past. But now they want to come in and act like they want to support you. They ignored you when you needed help. But now that they need help, they want to come in and ask you for help. These are people that gave you a lot of false promises, okay? I feel like these are people that, like, whenever they needed help, you were right there ready for them. But it was never um, reciprocated is what I'm getting. So do what you want to do. Yeah, suspicion. So whoever this person is, who, bleh, whoever this person is that's coming in, just be mindful of this individual. This person could be 63 years old. For some of you, you could be 31 Someone here could be born on the 10th of a month. Yeah, it says uh, distrustful, cautious disbelief. I feel like you're going to say the audacity of this motherfucker is what I'm getting. Sorry, I'm cussing a lot. I'm passionate. I don't care. And I'm really tired right now. We have the moment um, there is suspicion. Everything becomes tainted. Listen, I feel like when this person comes in, you might feel bad for them at first, but then they're going to do something, say something that is going to make you be like, mm, 
don't let this person back in, please. Please don't. You can forgive them, okay, from afar. You don't need to have contact with anyone in order to have closure. I talk about this all the time. All right? You can have closure with someone between having a conversation between you and the divine, you and God, okay? You don't need to... Adios. Let me keep going. I don't know why I'm like, I feel like I'm getting angry. Like, I'm getting irritated. Like, this might piss you off for some of you. Like, this might genuinely make you mad. Ay, ay, ay. What else do they need to hear, Spirit, regarding this situation? Damn. Ooh, butterfly. Okay. It says, helpful change. It says, you will navigate through change successfully by allowing the universe to assist you when you need it the most. I also feel like this person wants you to assist them. They want to. They want you to help them um, evolve like you have, like this beautiful butterfly right here. Okay. Tell me more, spirit. But this is someone here who is, um, this is someone who wants to just come in and gossip about you because we have bad gossip that came out. Or this is someone that was. It says, people are gossiping behind your back. It would be wise to be careful with your actions right now. Bad reputation, enemy, bad talk. This is someone that just wants to know information about you, wants to know vulnerable, I can't show the picture, vulnerable information about you in order to use it against you. So just be careful. Okay? Because someone knows that you're rebuilding your life here. Or you're building something in general. And like I was saying, someone wants to infiltrate this building or whatever you got going on and disrupt it. Okay? This could just be your healing process. Someone wants to disrupt your healing process. Okay? I'm also getting like someone here wants to disrupt your karma, your karmic debt, your good standing with your side of the street being clean. I'm going to just say it because I need to say it. This is, I didn't say it in the last read. But literally... What's today? Wednesday? Thursday? No, not Thursday. What day is it? Monday. Monday night. I um, was minding my own fucking business. And uh, I had this lady come up to me that I, I don't even know her. Right? I say hi and bye to her, you know, just to be courteous and polite. But um, she grabbed my fucking arm. Well, okay, before she did that, she was asking me to lie to somebody that I have a pretty chill rapport with and I was like uh I'm not gonna lie for you that's what I told her I'm like I'm not gonna lie for you I don't I don't like lying I don't lie I'm not doing that and she was just like well it's not it's not like it's not lying it's just um you just don't tell them and I'm like um, omitting something is a lie at least that's how I feel um and so I told her no I can't do that for you I'm sorry and then she's like she grabbed my arm she's like no but we're friends but she didn't say it like oh we're friends no she did it like we're friends like you're 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 my friend <laughs> like oh <sighs> anyways i'm just gonna end it there this is listen people are gonna be trying you all right People are definitely going to um, try to be on your, your last dang nerve. But you need to know that things are going to get better. You're going to get some sort of lucky break coming through if you haven't already. Um, people are just getting desperate. The, the devil is using people closest to you. The same old, same old little game he plays. So just be cautious, be aware. Um, yeah. Tell me more, Spirit. We have wide open. It says the path before you is clear. And this is why somebody wants to come in and block that path for you. Someone does not like that you have a fucking open road. And that you're protected as well. We have protection here. It says, the path before you is clear. Your desires and intentions are supported by the universe. You don't have any blocks. You have an open path. Someone wants to create a situation to where 
you get some sort of obstacle in it. There's another delay. There's another whatever. I'm so tired. I'm so tired of shit. We have protection. It says protect your energy and guard yourself against um, the people and things that drain you. Security, guard, vulnerable. Vulnerable is out here twice. Be careful who you relay information to. Who you're vulnerable with or who you give vulnerable information to. Okay? Because you don't know who's connected to, to, to who. You don't know who's talking to who. It's because you're going up the next level. New levels, new devils. More money, more problems. Okay? The powers that be don't want you to be leveling up. This is why this stuff is happening. It says, if you leave your comfort zone, you will see accelerated growth and change. Expansion, explore, growth. You are growing. Things are expanding in your life and someone wants to stop this. Also, I'm being told that there's something here that you have to change. I don't know if it's something within you or something with that, with uh, outside of you um, that makes you uncomfortable. You have to change it in order to get to this, to walk through this door here to the next level. Okay, this could be... Um, releasing uh negative thoughts this could be releasing um certain habits like smoking we have smoker out here it could be something that you're smoking or just smoking in general you may need to stop um opening up too easily for people maybe this is something you need to stop whatever it is you would know and you need to stop it before you go to this next level okay it needs to be released Do I even want to know more? <laughs> Spirit, can you tell me more? What the hell is going on? This is definitely a karmic person coming in. You know they're karmic too. This is someone that you... A relationship that you had with them is over. It's been over. Okay? This person wants to come in with a mask. They might even be like, oh, let's go have fun times. Let's go on an adventure. Let's go on a date. Let's go here. Let's go there. No. Okay? Whatever, whoever this person is, they know they're doing something that is forbidden. But someone doesn't care. They don't care. This could be someone who likes to take risk. This could be a fire sign for some of you. This could be a Scorpio for some of you. Okay? Don't have to be. Um... But someone feels like something is incomplete or they feel like um, like there's unfinished business between y'all, okay? This person's sketchy. This person could be really skinny for some of you, not all y'all. Any more spirit? Yeah, somebody here wants to change. Um, they want to change your no into a yes. Because somebody here needs money. <sighs> yeah, there's some sort of secrets here. Someone's coming in with some sort of secret feelings. I'm getting like secret feelings of animosity towards you. Also, when you when this person comes back and says something to you, if you even answer the phone or the door or whatever, you might even ask this person like, oh, okay, well, what are your intentions? Like, what is this? What is this about? Their answer might even be unclear. Like when they try to explain it, that will be your number one clue to be like, this is sketch. I got to go. Okay. You need to trust in your psychic ability or your intuition. And have faith that it's giving you the right answer. Okay? Someone needs to hear this. I don't know if this is something that's already happened or will. Because someone here wants to create some sort of drama into your life. This is someone who acts like a fucking child. This could be someone that doesn't take accountability for their own life. They could even be blaming you because you got, you got, you pulled yourself up. And you're making moves. Someone's mad at you. 
But this is someone that isn't... This also could be someone who's not mature or... Something. I also feel like if you say no to this person, this person is going to be... Um, something, something about this conversation might turn intense. So just be careful. Like this person might come in confirmation. I don't know if you heard that. Someone might come in with like this sweet demeanor, right? Like, oh, I'm just an innocent child playing with a snake. I'm just charming you. And then bam, they become this fucking werewolf. So just be aware. I'm also getting like your ancestors are, have are going to be giving you signs when this person comes around. Okay. As warnings to warn you from this person. Can you tell me more spirit that they need to know? Well, I don't want to do these yet. Let's get this out. Let's get out the, the burf. Burf the big burf top. Tell me more. Yeah, whoever I'm speaking to, you're a rising phoenix and someone wants to know how you did it. This could be an ex of yours or someone's first middle or last name starts with an X. Okay. Tell me more spirit. We have scammer alert using you for money. This is what this person's gonna come in and do to you, Rising Phoenix. This person wants to come in and sacrifice you in some way, or this person needs a level up. So that's why they're coming in to do this with you. We have hometown friends reaching out, don't answer. So this could be a hometown friend of yours that wants to get information on you. Okay. We have listen with your heart, you will understand. Let it break upon you like a wave upon the sand. Okay. Listen to your heart, what your heart is telling you when it comes to this person. Somewhere deep down in your heart, you know this person only coming in because uh, you, they want to use you. We have stay to yourself at this time. You need to stay to yourself. I don't know. For some of you, you're already talking to this person. You need to fucking stop. That's for some of y'all. We have um, nosy neighbor neighbors. So you could have some sort of nosy neighbors. Or this is a neighbor you're talking to. Or your neighbors are loud. You guys could be experiencing a lot of ringing in your left ear. This, when this happens, this is like your spirit team telling you that there's something off in your environment. So for some of you, you guys could be living in, um, living in an area where it's um, low vibrational. You could be getting signs, intuitive hits that you need to move somewhere not <laughs> low vibrational. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? Yeah, there's someone here that's being lustful, or this is what they're going to do. Be lustful, okay? Someone here could have falsely accused you or so of something in the past and was gossiping about you. Maybe someone was saying that you were coming on to them in the past. This could have been a hometown friend. Or your hometown friend is going to come in and try to be trying to put it on you or something like that. Ew. You're, for a lot of you, your own brother, for some of you, or someone's brother, or someone that you call a bro or sis, right? Um, this person wants to come in and be all nicey-nice with you because they want to use you. We have karmic mother. For some of you, this could be a karmic mother. Okay. That's coming in to try to use you. Or coming in to try to destroy something of yours. Sacrifice something of yours so that they can have a come up. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, we have stole your tampons pads to perform black magic so someone here might want to come close and figure out when you're on your cycle so they can do this boss and manager keep coming out so i don't know if this is per this person thinks that like they're in control of you or they want to be your the boss of you or something like that or this is a boss or manager that's lusting after you gross we have angry because they broke and you ain't yeah so this is all about money someone's upset because you out here manifesting your dreams and this motherfucker is not that's not your problem this person's a liar or someone here is trying to say you're a liar place where it needs to go or someone's going to be coming in with a lot of lies why you always lying tell me more spirit yeah, we got coworker here. So something here about your coworker is of significance. This coworker could be a karmic male of yours, or your there's a karmic male that you know it from your past that is working with a coworker of yours, okay, in order to sacrifice something, okay, in your life, or destroy something in your life, or put some sort of obstacle or challenge into your life. This person could have been an uh you know what this is. 
Okay? Or this is what someone wants to do. Someone could have accused you of SAing someone. Or someone's going to come in and try to SA you. Do not trust no one right now. We got Jerugs. Someone might try to, like, um, slip something in your drink. This is chow. It's all because they're mad at how... Whatever you're doing. You're in a good place. Someone's mad about this. You're at peace. Someone don't like that. We have lost your case. So someone here could have lost some sort of battle here. Alright? Some sort of fight and they could be upset about this. Okay? Or someone here could have been trying to prove a point here. And the point got lost. Okay? No one, no one's listening to who, whatever this person is saying. Okay? Chow. <laughs> Something about this is of significance. We have less in your pill usage. So, listen, I'm not a medical professional. Disclaimer. But someone someone here could be taking a lot of pills. And they want to slip one in yours. Yeah, it's because you're a healer. Okay? Or there's someone here who's on Jerugs. And they want you to help them get off Jerugs. That's for some of you, not all y'all. And it's because this person knows you're a healer. <laughs> This person could be an air sign, or you're an air sign, place where it needs to go. Someone here could be an Aquarius, a Libra, um, or Gemini. Yeah, someone here is definitely giving you the evil eye. I'm also getting, like, someone here is giving you the evil eye, Rising Phoenix, because, um, the opposite sex is lustful after you. Or you get a lot of attention uh, from the opposite, the opposite sex or the same sex, whatever it is, okay? Someone could be upset about that, okay? Or the whoever this person that's giving you the evil eye is trying to set you up by going on the dark web or whatever, going to certain websites so that you can, they can find someone to SA you. Does this person have a job? Like, I don't, where do they find the time is my question. We have pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. I don't know about y'all, but I keep getting, like, I keep having dreams of, like, certain celebrities for some reason. And I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. We have stealing mail or packages. So someone here could have stole your mail or packages in the past. Or this is what they're planning on doing. Or this could even be, like, stealing messages. Like stealing some sort, something that's supposed to be delivered to you. Or your blessing that's supposed to be delivering to you. Your destiny. Whatever this is. We have pay attention. We're solving crimes right here. Ciao. <laughs> Someone's first, middle, or last name can start with an F. Um, you guys could be seeing a lot of black cats. You could own a black cat or you know someone who owns a black cat. Okay. You need to know that you have nothing but good luck and protection here. There's some sort of evidence that has been found here because we have evidence of DNA. So there's some sort of evidence here that's been found when it comes to someone accusing someone of doing something. Okay. Your name is going to be cleared. There's going to be some sort of redemption here. Um, I feel like this is something that might happen if you let this person in. This is what I'm getting. Or, or for some of you, this is something that's already been in the past. Place it where it needs to go. But someone's intentions is not the best. Okay. Yeah. Someone said that you were a gold digger because you weren't messing with a broke. Yeah. It's coming out again. It says what's bad is good and what's good is bad. Tell me more. Someone had. There's an inside job situation going on with someone. So someone here might even, like, want to hang out with you so that, like, they can go with you to the bank for something. Just be aware, okay? We have DV, okay? So something about that is significant. Someone's refusing to apologize about something that they did to you. This could have been a stepmom. Oh, this makes a lot of sense to me. We got a stepmom here and brother. This could be your stepbrother or half-brother for some of you. 
Someone here is going to get in trouble for fraud. Or someone's going to be found out for being a fraud. Or there is someone here trying to say that you're a fraud. We have just because, just because God blessed you with the dingling doesn't mean that you're the head of anything. So someone here thinks that the, the, they're like the boss of you. This could even be a parent. This doesn't have to just be about a man, okay? This could be about a parent here, right? This, this quote is what I'm referring to. You could have a parent here that thinks like they have the right to control your life even as an adult. Even as you being an adult. Like this is what I'm getting here. Like they feel, they still feel like they need to sign permission slips for you or something. I don't know. You need to know that you are lovable and you are deserving of love, okay? And someone don't like that. Someone don't like that you're loving on yourself. There's someone here that has cruel intentions, okay, against you. Someone's definitely pocket watching you, so you need to be careful. We have this is of significance. So someone here is trying to do something to you and you need to be very aware. You already know who this person is. Someone definitely was trying to hack into your accounts. I'm telling you, someone wants to know where you live. Someone wants to know where you live. If you guys are worried, you need to get a VPN. You need to get something. Don't be going around posting Instagram locations of where you're at or whatever. This person could be a Scorpio or you could be a Scorpio. Place it where he needs to go. All right. That's try who's pocket watching you. Who are these motherfuckers? Someone here could be a Sagittarius. They could have Sag somewhere in their chart. Someone here is very irresponsible, okay? And they're upset because you chose to be responsible for your life and your self. We have rabbit. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rabbit. Note the date. Pay attention. Tell me more, spirit. What else do we need to know? Who is these people? Someone here could be an Aquarius. Or they could have Aquarius somewhere in their chart. <sighs> Tell me more. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a tiger. Note the, the date. Okay? <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Tell me more. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a monkey. Ooh. This is someone who was very much in and out when it comes to you. This is someone that wasn't very, like, this is someone who's not very there for you. Okay. Their, flu their feelings fluctuate when it comes to you. Um, someone's Chinese zodiac sign could be of an ox. Note the date. Okay. This is someone that's trying to come in and act like they want to nurture and support you all of a sudden. Don't. Don't. Also, this could be a new person for some of you. Just pay attention to the signs. I was also picking something up that I didn't want to say earlier. But, um, let me see. You need to pay attention. When you out here meeting new people, you need to pay attention. They're, they're, you need to pay attention to the pattern. Because the divine is trying to tell you something. When it comes to certain people, there are certain people that continue to betray you and they have the same first letter of their name. Okay. Or they have the same zodiac sign or similar placements in their chart. Okay. Or they have the same physical attribute as the other person. Okay. Like I was saying before, something distinctive about someone's teeth, very distinctive about someone's eyes, something their hair there's something distinctive about this person it becomes a pattern like these people who are snakes or there's things that they say there's a certain saying that they have or a certain aura that they carry you need to pay attention to that okay <sighs> what else do they need to hear Should I do this one? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to know regarding this message? <laughs> what do they need to know regarding this message, Spirit? We have mysteries. 
It says, appreciate what you don't know and seek to learn more before you make a decision. So there's a lot of doors in this reading, a lot of archways. There's something here that you need to know or be fully aware of before you make a decision here. Because there, there could be someone here trying to offer something to you. Okay. This could be an olive branch. Okay. This could be a job. This could be whatever it is. And a rekindling of a friendship. Uh, I, I advise you to go within and listen to your intuition. What it says about making amends with someone here. We have pillars of strength. It says fortify your resolve and stand strong in your toot. In your, in your toot. <laughs> Sorry, okay, stand strong in your truth. Don't let others undermine your faith. So someone here might want to come in and, like I was saying, undermine, like, what you do. Okay, they want to come in and belittle you. You could be someone who works in the mysteries, or you're someone here who shines light in the things that are in the dark. Someone wants to, someone wants to make you feel like what you're doing ain't shit. Someone here wants to make you feel like um, you're not good at what you do or that you don't have some sort of ability. Like, someone here wants to be fucking weird. I'm also getting, like, someone wants to come in and, di and um, destable. Oh, is that the word? Destable you? Something like that. We have strange land. It says, you are discovering things you haven't experienced before. New knowledge feeds success. So there's something here that you might need to learn something new or you're going to learn something new here. You're going to discover something here. We have just knock. It says, if the way seems closed, ask friends or influencers to open the door and let you in. I don't know. Maybe this is what this person's trying to do. They're trying to get their foot in the door with you. They're trying to figure out what you know. They want you to give them the ropes. This could be someone who... Never mind. I'm not going to even get into it. This is what I'm getting. Okay. And then we have high tides. It says, you may be feeling swamped, but the shore is within sight. Keep... Just keep swimming along. Because you're almost there. All right. Along this... In this high tides, you're going to be swimming past a couple sharks. But listen, you can handle it. You got it. What else do they need to her spirit? Yeah. <laughs> it's the climb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have steady climb here. Okay. So yeah, you're, you're going to a higher level here. Okay. You're going to be receiving some sort of promotion here, spiritually or phys physically okay or you're on your way there we have passage it says new cycle transitioning discovery you're gonna discover something either new about you or new about someone around you okay we have commun communing it says connection with spirit divine downloads i'm also getting like somebody want to find out how you get your fucking downloads like someone feels like there's a, a way to teach it That's also what I'm getting. We got romance. This person could be trying to come in and act like they love you or that they're they're attracted to you in some way. We have being enchanted, love spell, attracting your equal. So this person also could be coming in. This person could have already put a love spell on you or they did or they're going to, right? In order for you to let them back in. This could be a family member. This could be a business. This could be friend, place where I need to go. I'm annoyed. <laughs> okay, let's end this. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What else do we need to know? We have overactive throat. It says steady throwing shade and having your name in their mouth. So someone can't just, they can't have enough. They just love giving you the evil eye. Okay, we have unwanted watcher keeping up with you through a fake account so this is what this person could be doing 
okay this could be a karmic mother of yours this could be a brother of yours this could be an ex of yours someone whose first middle or last name starts with a an s or an f or whatever else came out we have clout chaser okay it says they will do anything to get some sort of attention so this person's gonna try it they gonna try you okay they want your attention they need it is what i'm getting we have 999. You could be seeing 999 a lot. It says the end of a cycle is coming to an end. And then we have 333. You could be seeing 333 a lot. It says guardians are by your side to assist you. Okay. And then we have higher power. It says the universe is handling it right now. Pay attention to the signs to see what must be done next. Okay. Ciao. You got you got the divine on your side. This month, these, mm. and then we have eleven eleven. You could be seeing eleven eleven a lot. This means you're evolving. It says awakening, and then it says everything is falling into place. Ooh shoot! Let me see that. Ugh. They they always need to check up on you for new ideas. So something about new ideas. This could be a coworker of yours. They're always checking up on you to see what you got going on so they can get new ideas, blah, 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 blah. What do they need to hear, Spirit, at this time? So we can wrap this up. What do they need to hear? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear? It says, learning and teaching are part of your higher calling me more we have media it says you can reach more people by working with video audio print and online media this is what you're being called to do next maybe teach a class or take a class and you're being called to put yourself out there especially if you're someone here who has spiritual gifts if i don't know something like that is going on tell me more or you're somebody here who's already in the media or you already teach something here um, we have let go. It says release the desire to control this situation and leave it up to God's infinite wisdom to resolve everything beautifully. So let it go. We got birth. It says new life such as a baby, an idea, happy news, or an exciting project blossoms within and around you. So you got good news on your way and some way don't feel like you're deserving of it. Or maybe you don't feel like you're deserving of it. Whatever it is, you need to put something into check. It says you, like all of God's children, does, it says you, like all of God's children, deserve happiness, health, and love. Damn straight, yes you do. And don't you freaking doubt it, okay? What else do they need to hear? 3131. Someone here could be 31 years old or something about the 31st of a month. It says, dream big and do all that you can to make it a reality. There may be challenges during this transition, but remain positive and cast aside all fears and doubts because, baby, you're able to accomplish whatever you put your mind to. Okay, tell me more. What else do they need to hear? 33. You guys could be seeing master number 33. Someone could be 33 years old. It says be spontaneous, take a risk, and try something new. You can't control everything in life, so enjoy the ride. Okay, what else do they need to hear? Spirit. We have zero new beginnings baby it says you're beginning a new phase in your life and embarking on your spiritual journey you're just beginning this is just the start okay and you have a lot of good things to look forward to we got nine 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 four nine <laughs> says continue to let your light shine bright no matter what nobody does or what nobody says okay we got a mission to accomplish or to complete, okay? Tell me more. What else do they need to hear, Spirit? Some motivational words. Woo! We have, you have to participate relentlessly in the manifestation of your own blessings. Someone's name could be Gilbert or Elizabeth. someone has to take action it says for hope 
is but the dream of those that wake. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. We have, we do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside of ourselves already. We have the power to imagine better. It all comes from your fucking brain. Your mind is so incredibly powerful. Someone needs to understand this. If you see it, you can achieve it. This is going to be the end of your message or the reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you guys. Bye.